station. The morning show starts now. There is no way to avoid the fact that over the years we are going to age. As you get older, it might seem like the younger crowd's taking over, especially in the workforce. So let's talk about ways to stay young, feel young, keep your competitive edge. Dr. Calpana de Pasquale, board certified. Uh, how do you say that word? <laughs> Otolaryngologist. It's Otolaryngologist. <laughs> a person who can help you feel and look younger. See, that's so much easier. That's so much easier. Yeah, I like it. I guess it. it's a coding thing with the insurance company. It is. It and is. Kathleen Miner, who knows firsthand what it is to try and stay competitive, join us here in the morning show. Doc, first let me talk about, uh, there's, there's a syndrome. It's called RBF. It's resting the B word face. <laughs> and, and basically what happens is your face contorts. Maybe the mouth is turned down. You look unfriendly. You look unapproachable. You look angry. If you're going out for a job interview, that ain't going to serve you well. No, it really isn't. And what's funny is that as women get older, typically they feel much more confident, you know, as opposed to in your younger years, in your 20s. You may not be as confident about yourself. You get older, you get, you get established in your career, you've, you know, raised some children, married, whatever the case is, you feel better about yourself. But then stuff starts to happen to your face. Your mouth starts to downturn, you lose volume in your cheeks, you lose volume around your eyes, you start getting wrinkles, whatever the case may be. All of a sudden that makes women look unapproachable, unfriendly, and often they feel misrepresented and misunderstood. So let me talk about your life's experience. Mm -hmm. You feel one way inside, people think you look another way. You know, how do you reconcile that? Well, take care of yourself. And I think, like she said, when you're in your 20s, you don't have that much confidence. And then as we get older, we do, and we want to feel that way. So then I go see Dr. De Pasquale, and we do preventative maintenance. So what, what is some of that preventative maintenance? So preventative maintenance can be anything, and it really depends on each person what they're seeing. Sometimes it can be simple as some Botox to start relaxing some wrinkles. The ones that really bother people the most are the ones between the eyebrows because they get that scowly kind of look, um, or the ones around the crow's feet around the eyes. We could also do filler, of course, to kind of give you a little bit of lift in the cheek area, the lips, um, upturn the corner of the mouth, um, also fill in some hollowness under the eyes. And, and have you found that after people, you know, make these minor changes, that their entire attitude is different, that people look at them differently. It, it really makes a big difference because sometimes people confuse that with vanity. And it's really not about vanity. It's about feeling better about yourself. I had one woman who was a uh, uh, ICU nurse, actually, and she said patients wouldn't talk to her, families wouldn't talk to her. Her husband always said she was in a bad mood. She came in and just got a little bit of Botox, and all of a sudden everybody thinks she's the happiest person on the earth. And she goes, I've always been happy. I just, everybody thinks I'm mad all the time, and I haven't been. And so it, yeah, and it, it really isn't just difference. about vanity. Did you find Find that people reacted to you differently when some of your features were a little more relaxed? I think so, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I feel like I did when I was younger, so I can look like I did when I was younger. And, you know, I have four children, and I have a grandchild, and that usually throws people off. Um, so it's nice to actually look how I feel, because I feel like more vibrant than I did in my 20s and 30s. Mm -hmm. And I'm 44, and really excited about it because I think life just gets better as we get older and now we can feel more confident about it too with all of the things that are out there these days and, that we can take advantage of. Yeah, and don't feel vain and, and maybe attack this when you start noticing things changes yes. early on. Don't wait too long. Absolutely. I would say we call it prejuvenation. We always joke yeah. about it because once you start to see a little bit of something, it's actually easier to address before it gets really bad because typically the worse it gets, the more it takes to correct it and sometimes you have to get more aggressive as well. All right. And, it, you, and I think, too, you know, if you look younger, you actually start doing more and you have more, devo more motivation to do other things. So it's not just the way you look. It really carries on to everything else in your life. Look, you know, we're living longer. I look at my exactly. grandparents. They were old when they were in their 50s. Exactly. Today, my dad's in his 80s and active. 50 so is young. It, it is. It is young. If you missed any of this interview or want to know how to get in touch with Dr. Di Pasquale, just go online to newsforjax.com. We'll post the interview at about 1030 this morning on the Morning Show page. Check it out. All right, Ridge, let's talk.